Hello, uh, good afternoon from the Lisboa, from the EBMT meeting. Uh, I would like just to cover a couple of the abstracts uh, which are dealing with the lymphoma and the stem cell transplant. Uh, what we have heard today, uh, there is one I consider it the, one of the most important message, and it's a combination of the lenalidomide plus R E sharp for the relapsed refractory diffuse large B cell lymphoma, because we know that uh, the patients uh, pretreated with the rituximab who failed the chemotherapy have a very poor uh, outcome. It uh, has been demonstrated by the CORAL data and others. And just recently, in the January, the paper uh, by the Craig uh, Sauter uh, has been published from the Memori Memorial Sloan Kettering, and they tested ibrutinib plus eyes for this subgroup of population, and they achieved approximately 90% uh, of the overall response rate and more than 50% uh, complete remissions. Although the total group was very small, it was only about 20%. And here, uh, the Gelcamo group, the Spanish group, uh, presented data on the lenalidomide plus R E SHAP. And it was uh, 46 patients who have been treated, uh, the 42 patients who get behind uh, the first cycle. And the overall response rate was approximately 70% with 40% of the complete remission rate. And I think that this is a very important message uh, and um, direction. We should go to incorporate these, t these uh, new molecules like the ibrutinib or lenalidomide in the testing uh, of the, how, in, in, in the testing how to improve uh, the outcome of these poor risk patients. So this is one abstract I would like to share with you. The second abstract is the uh, abstract uh, from Italy. Uh, it's um, a group uh, of the patient who were transplanted for different type of the B-cell lymphomas, Hodgkin's lymphoma, diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, and the others. And uh, they, are, they, have, they were trying to evaluate the PD-1, PDL one uh, and LAC-3 axis. And it has been demonstrated that the patients who have, and they use the H index for the uh, calculation of the intensity and the number of the cells, and the patients who have the higher score have significantly worse outcome compared to the patients who have a low score. So it's a very important biomarker or it could be a very important biomarker before allogenic stem cell transplant. And the question remains if introduction of the immune checkpoint inhibitors for these patients could improve the outcome of the allogenic stem cell transplant, although uh, there is uh, some reports which uh, we have to take into account that the, num that the incidence of the acute GVHD could be higher, et cetera. But this is very important observation from my point of view as well. The other abstract I would like to discuss is one on behalf of EBMT, which was presented by Dr. Lesner. The other abstract I would like to, uh, to comment is the abstract uh, presented on behalf of EBMT Lymphoma Working Group, uh, which has been presented by Dr. Selner from Heidelberg. And this uh, retrospective analysis uh, has been focused on the follicle lymphoma patient who were pretreated as a bridge or in the previous treatment with idelalicid. And 25% of the patients were pretreated uh, as a bridge to the allogenic stem cell transplant. Uh, the one year treatment related mortality was more than 20%, so it's not trivial. But the outcome of the patient was uh, quite good uh, in terms of the progression-free survival uh, at one year, more than 60%. So uh, we definitely need a longer follow-up, but it shows that the idelalisib is a good <coughs> uh, drug 
to bring the patient who are refractory to the immunochemotherapy to the allogenic stem cell transplant, which is, uh, from my point of view, a very important piece of evidence. And the last abstract I would like to mention is the abstract which is going to be presented on the lymphoma working party uh, meeting. Uh, it's a selected abstract and uh, it's presented on behalf of the French speaking uh, Europe world and presented by Dr. Mames from the, from the, Swiss, from the Geneva. And uh, they analyzed the T cell, the outcome of the T cell lymphoma patients and uh, it was more than 250 patients, and uh, they clearly show that uh, the outcome of this patient um, is uh, promising, so it means the long-term survival with the median follow-up um, almost three years, uh, the median progression-free survival and overall survival has not been reached, but definitely there are subgroups of patients who have a worse outcome, and there are uh, those patients who fail to achieve the complete or partial remission before the allogenic stem cell transplant. But uh, this is a huge number of patients who have been analyzed, and I think that uh, it's the confirmation that the allogenic stem cell transplant for the relapsed refractory T cell lymphoma is um, a viable option and should, it should be considered if we see such type of patient. Thank you.